All right, cool. Back again. Um, apologies for that. Wanted to sort one or two things out. Um, so back and going again so yeah pick off where we last left off from so i literally want to try and get some ideas down for what i want this design to be um so let's fire up a little bit of a drawing pad i'm reaching over for the good old drawing tablet um so what i'm thinking what am i thinking so um let's get a pen um so thinking like so have like a header bit of the blog literally just title some copy under here like the uh, lines lines i'm not an artist in case you can't tell so that's just going to be like copy slash uh kind of xrt descriptiony thing <laughs> that's what that's going to be um Obviously, title self-explanatory. Maybe we'll put in. Let's just draw this separately because this will be easier to draw if I do it as a as a separate block. So I'm thinking. Um, oh, I don't know whether to left align it or not. Mm. Designing is always fun. Um, so an idea which I've just literally had thinking. Maybe if we do like a bit of a hard alignment. Um, like date here not in not in a box so let's undo that just date and then underneath a bigger tile underneath that is the uh just lines of text which is going to be excerpt like that that's that's that plan and then obviously here we'll launch into the body of the article um which will be width constrained to whatever I've got it set as, I can't actually remember off the top of my head what that set as. Um, obviously, this will just be uh, you know normal kind of bloggy things, so like image, more text, yada yada yada. And then I've got some standard components which are all slices because we're building a prismic. I should say which we can drop in here, such as like CTA, call to action, um, the contact form. And then a uh, subfoot here. Like such. That's the general the general gist or the general design which I'm planning on going for. Um, yeah. I don't even think I need to get that ready into... I suppose it might help to put something in, in Figma. Um, but that's the general gist of what I'm going to go for. So let's start trying to build it. Um, so what do we need? What do we need? Let's jump into here. Open up a terminal. Um, try to remember what I need to do. So, because we're using Storybook, do npm run Storybook. Uh, why aren't you working? Okay, you're not wanting to work. Let's close you down. Uh, uh, npm run Storybook. There we go. So that's not running. Prismic. Uh, SM, I can't remember, is it hyphen, or is it, is that, or is it, it's just opened up in another window, don't want that to open, like that, or is it hyphen, hyphen, SM. Great, uh, let me quickly, uno memento, why I log in. Uh, that should now working. And then over here, I can... So this is um, so this is the uh, what is this? <laughs> I'm trying to lost words now. Slice Master Prismic Slice Machines. That's the one. Slice Machine Builder. Um, so these are just a bunch of slices which I've created, which you can see in the code here. So slices, all of these are an individual slice. They correlate. So for example, if I jump in and show you this call to action one, because it's quite an easy one, um, oh, you get non-repeatable slices and then repeatable slices. So in this case, a non-repeatable one would be like the title, the description, the link label, the link URL. Um, and if I go to the actual website, so scroll, 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 scroll. So like here's a CTA. So this would be the title. This would be the uh, description. 
this would be the link label and then this would be the the link url of where it links to um which at the minute just links me down to the contact because it's a single page so that's that's kind of what a slice machine is and if we go in here you can see how it's used um using the styled components up here um but yeah so down here you bring in the slice you get your slice.primary then you get your title your description um obviously this is just conditionally render stuff you get like a boilerplate of code um when you make a new slice so yeah we can, we'll, you'll, we'll go through that in a minute anyway when i make a new one but yeah so then obviously just using the link component from next.js uh linking it to that with the label that we pass in rather simple stuff and then um, let's say just using kind of custom components um from style components so like this uh, component container is just a custom styled component which i use everywhere in the site to give me the kind um let's see if i've got a uh, that one so yeah it gives me like the contained width and center stuff and allows me to do like the colored sections on a full width and stuff like that so that's that's the gist of what we're going to be going for so let's create a um i don't think i need to create a new custom type for this be a single type i haven't actually done this before like i've never actually made a blog page of slice machines before um i'm assuming we need a single type for it <laughs> thank you francesco i can't have it directly in front of me that's the that's the problem i've got if i have it directly in front of me like i end up cutting i can't actually put it because the screen's in the way um so it's actually yeah kind of off to the side of it um it's as close to center as i can get and uh Thank you, Pahan. Uh, so yeah, custom type name. Uh, what would this be? Blog ID. I suppose it wants a lowercase. We'll go blog. Uh, it's a single type because we're only having one of them. Um, let me have a look. So looking at here, I'm not going to have. Yeah, so we're not going to have this kind of header. So it's going to be kind of hard. What? Um, to put on there do do, 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 do kind of I say wing in this as I go a little bit here so this is going to be like a post a blog post this will be um all of that but like when it comes to um the actual blog that's something else to design quickly so let's uh let's break out the uh trusty drawing pad again which I can't pick up so um so for the blog i'm surprised that's actually legible um again similar kind of thing we'll have obviously reusable components down here similar on the main website we have um like this is these are all re it's a slice that they're all reusable everywhere but like um this kind of contact form we'll use and uh, now i'm drawing with it as a, a, a tablet little whack on tablet um so the, yeah so that then draws into this this is uh kind of my note-taking software um this is a uh, obsidian which is i keep calling it open source but i have to remember it's not open source someone's going to get annoyed at me for that it's, it's not open source um and there's a plugin which is used called excalibur excalibur yeah it's a scalar so the file extensions end in um so yeah i'm just using the tablet to draw in um uh yeah so like these are all reusable components um these uh all of them are so what i'll do is at the bottom of the blog post um down here we'll have like the contact form even though i'm drawing with an actual pad i can't write probably my writing's still barely illegible barely legible should be a doctor i should um and then like down here that'll be our sub footer. but mainly what i'm interested in is um this bit up here so i'm thinking we'll have a similar kind of theme going out for everywhere we'll have a hero section um i don't want that to be too loud so we'll have like a hero section up here which i'll just come down here to draw uh, design that so i'm thinking similar just kind of like blog and then um kind of some random description title content i haven't haven't thought of yet and then maybe a couple of buttons um which might be uh, maybe one button i haven't decided yet and that might be just something like contact us, you know, kind of standard CTA things. 
Um, and then something else for this, I don't know yet. But that's that's the gist for this top bit is <laughs> this CTA. And this will be a colored background, um, which I can just pass into the component to do. And then, yeah, so we'll design this. Um, what we'll do is we'll actually make this kind of header CTA bit as, um, have I still got it open? Have I got it open? Yes, I do. So we'll make the header CTA bit as, um, I want to use it as a slice zone, if I'm honest. The reason being is like, if I'm gonna have other pages, um, for example, a blog pay, a blog post, um, a contactless page directly, a services page, et cetera, et cetera. It'd be good to be able to just use this as a slice zone rather than having to recreate it each time with these static zones. So I think what we'll do is we'll start by making a slice zone for this kind of header CTA hero section. That's the word I'm looking for. So we'll make a slice zone for that as the hero section. And then how do I want to do the blog posts here? So we'll then basically the plan will be to make um, a, a slice. Um, a slice is going to not sound like a word like after this. Um, so then we'll make a slice in the slice zone for um, each blog post. So then obviously, oh, what, what went on there? Um, so each of them will design and obviously we'll have, uh, I don't know, two, three in a column, grid it. We'll just do grid repeat max X amount. Um, so then how do I want that to look? So I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm going for post images or not. I know Next.js makes post images or just images in general really easy to use. Um, but I don't know if I'm going for the post images or not on this. Um, Sorry, I just probably battered the microphone for a deaf into there. Um, so it might be a case of if I don't go for a post image, if I'm going for a post image, then the natural design is to put post image at the top, you know, maybe a date here, um, and then title, and then front end. Uh, yes, it is. Sorry, I, I started reading the thing as I started. Yeah, it is Nexus, Next.js. Um, so this is using Next.js um, with Prismic. CMS, Prismic head, Headless CMS pres, um, deployed on Vercel because if you're using Next, why wouldn't you deploy on Vercel? That's frankly the only the only you know, answer to that question. If you're using Next, what do you deploy on? It's Vercel. Um, yeah. So yeah. So that's that. Um, in terms of other things, styled components. So why well, why I mean, I'm not just show you the package JSON. So um, yeah. So using Fathom for analytics, next obviously build, uh, React obviously styled components. The interesting one here is Notion. Um, so Notion I'm actually using to, to for forms. So this here, when you fill this in, it goes through, do I have this, uh, do I, what do I have this? I have some on my content creation dashboard. So I can actually show this um, live. <laughs> so, Oh, can I show this live? I don't know because I've got actual, I won't show it live because I've got actual businesses in there, which I don't want to just dox their details onto the internet. But when you, you have to take my word for this, when you fill in um, these, that basically then drops it into Notion field. So in Notion, you obviously have, you know, I'd have a business name field, a first name, surname, website, email address, and website. And um, using the APIs is APIs. I can't remember what they call it. Serverless functions, APIs. Uh, it's under pages and yeah, pages API. Yeah. So submit form. So you pull in the API key and then it uses all of this and it creates a new field in notion for you. It's frankly amazing. Notion is like godsend. Yes, Francesco, I do have a domain. Uh, it's phi type.com P H Y T Y P E phi as like, like the Greek letter, but I don't think it's spelt like the Greek letter. So I actually took a um, leap of in, uh, inf leap of inspiration. That's probably the wrong word. Um, I took a leap out of his book. You know, um, Francesca, you'll know him. Dan Spartling, Spratling. I can never say his last name. So he, on his um, agency website, has a change log. And I make sure to DM. I was like, I love this idea. Can I have it? Can I use it? So I'm using a similar idea of um, a change log on my website. Um because I thought that was just such a great idea and I had to have it. So frankly, he's a nice guy and um, let me use it. 
um but yeah so that's this is what this idea and like this is this is quite cool um so also i've been hearing a lot of chatter of gatsby dev switching to next what made you do the switch to next um i still like gatsby um I kind of did the switch to next mainly again because of the same guy. He's like someone I generally look up to, I think, for this now. Um, that Dan guy I mentioned. Um, he does a lot of development for his clients on freelancing with Prismic. And I wanted to give Prismic Slice Machines a shot. And um, he says the the development process and timelines with next is a lot quicker and a lot slicker because of Slice Machines and next than it is with Gatsby because Gatsby can't use Slice Machines. So um, that's that's the main reason I'm using Next for this. Let me just, I just realized this. Let me cancel that out. <laughs> otherwise, I'm going rather yellow. Um, but yeah, that's the main reason I'm using um, Next. My um, my personal website still, ConnorMurphy.com, that's still going through Gatsby as we talk, as we speak right now. In a future stream, I'm going to make a custom theme for that because I'm moving away from Gatsby into Ghost for that. Um, but yes, as it stands, I still in Gatsby. I still like Gatsby. I've still built client sites on Gatsby. There's nothing wrong with Gatsby. It's just I wanted next for this to try it out. Um, anyway, sidetrack back to where I was. Um, <laughs> long roundabout way. Uh, don't really care for that. Don't really care for that. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, yeah, so with this, um, if I was using an image, then I would go with that and do like an image card. And... Um, that but because i'm not sure i'm going with an image card so i'm just going to label that like image um if i was going for a non-image card oh, why should i do it? go over here see so yeah, if i was going for like non-image i'm thinking generally something just a lot simpler and easier just because it can be quicker to design and i like the idea of being quick and you know getting deployed quickly i'd like to get something up and running today so say i achieved something um, so I'm kind of thinking just like date. So for example, if I put a blog post out today, it'd be like something like that. And then underneath the title, um, example, post, and then maybe like 150 character excerpt. I'm not going to write 150 character excerpt here. Not by hand. With my handwriting being this bad. Um, so yeah, 150 character excerpt. Something like that, obviously a bit smaller, a bit nicer done. And then that would kind of, and then would list it. So uh, draw a line over there. So then maybe list them and then, uh, so we could have like posts, I don't know. Um, actually to be fair though, because I'm dropping it into underneath this, which already has that kind of header section. I don't need to worry about defining another title there. So what I would probably just do is just kind of list them out centered. So like have, um, you know, one there, next one, next one, etc., etc. going down the page. Could even take a leap from the idea, which, where did I put that? Is over here? Yeah, this kind of idea um, of using that. Like the line, maybe for the post, this kind of idea here just have like a thick line um with like the date there title and then the excerpt like that and then um, obviously we'll have the date is say a light font and then the title is a bold font argument sake i don't know and then maybe this is a normal slash light something like that that's the plan anyway. Cool. Right now we've got a plan established. Let's get on to making it. Um, so, right, so what do we want to do? So like I said, I want to make a slice machine. I want to make a slice for that hero section first. So let's do that. So if we go slices, I don't need this full scale. Um, create that. Oh, I just had a Steam notification pop up. Great. <laughs> Um, so what what do we want to call this? Let's call this page hero. This is very it is literally in beta this slice machine thing still, so it's not the most um, refined, but that's that's fine. So when you create a brand new slice, um, it might actually you can see it's already dropped in here. So what do I want on this? 
um, I want um, obviously a title and description. Um, what I'll do though is I'll create a repeatable field for the button. So similar to how we did, uh, where was I in the design? We had that, oh, go, go away. There we go. We had that kind of two buttons here, which is the thing we want to create. Let me just drag that over there. So I want to have, um, there's probably a better way of doing this, but because of the minute, I'm linking everything and there isn't a, like, this is a link, but it comes through, I think it's like a, an A ref, if I remember right. Let me just test, I'm not 100% sure. Label and mm, API ID. But I don't think this lets me do like, um, like that. No, it don't. So obviously with Next.js, I'd like to be able to do it like that so that I can just kind of dump it. So where's the last one I did do a link on? Uh, CTA, that's the one. So like, because this is scrolling to the same, I suppose it won't matter too much, but because that one scrolls to the same page, so like it scrolls to, I'm pointing to my screen, you can't see me pointing to my screen, but I'm pointing to my screen nonetheless. Um, so I'm going to contact there or services, um, because that's how I would want to do on the same page. I couldn't use the link because, oh no, that's API ID. I just realized my mess up here link value so i don't think this will let me do like that will it if it does then it might be oh i might be able to just do that then hmm well i look smart now <laughs> totally not um yeah screw it let's try that so what do we want to call this uh i'm crap at naming things um button i don't know um hero button We'll go with hero bun. Uh, hero bun. Hero bun. And we'll just do a muck config of contact. Yeah, cool. So title, description, that's all fine. Do save model, modal to file system. Wait for that to get rid of that. Uh, I won't push it to Prismic yet, um, but we will do. So in page hero, a lot of this we can get rid of. So I'm using styled components, so that can go... Um, um, get rid. Of, just tell you what. We'll just get rid of most of this. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just get rid of all of it. It's easier. Uh, let's import styled components. Import styled from styled components. I keep doing that. I keep hitting my Windows key instead of my Control key. Um, that's what I want to do. I want this component container, um, which will be essentially our section. No, it won't be. Do that. Uh, like that. No, oh, come on. Like that. And then we'll just create a styled section to go with it. Cons styled. I told you I'm bad at naming him. Equals styled dot section. And then from within here, I can never remember was a slice dot primary dot title. Um. So I literally just want that pretty much. I don't want, because I'm always going to have a title there. So we'll dump that in there. So that's something, import that, like that. Um, yeah, styled section, literally borrow some of this. We'll just borrow all of that. I could probably export that and make it into a separate component, make my life a bit easier. But you know what it is like. Um, so because we're making an extra page, yeah, so we'll, do, we'll, we'll create our extra custom type now, single type, my custom type name blog, custom ID blog, and then add in here, what was it, hero something once I called it, what are they called, page hero, that's the one, save, save the file system. And then we'll do push to Prismic. And I'll push the other one to Prismic and we can try to get this working. Hopefully get something working now. So then quickly in here. Need to create a new page. Don't need the API folder. A new page called blog.js. And I'm, I can pretty much just take the content from the index. Um, so the type is blog, because that's the API that we just created in the custom type. We created a um, blog. 
<laughs> field. Um, but that actually, I think we'll reference that if I remember right, it's this. Yeah, we need to add that to the custom type. It's coming back to me slowly. <laughs> it's a UID. So that's like the API ID, I believe. Um, blog, yeah. So then when we query it, it should, like this here, blog. It's a single type, we create a single type. Um, and it looks for the one that's labeled blog. Um, I need to change all of this um, to be relevant, I guess, to a, um, might be worth making a meta description for it. Uh, like not a meta description, a custom component for the meta. Meta, I think a lot of this, I, yeah, I do these ones through the document, but I don't want to do the other ones through it. Anyway, uh, right, let me quickly log in to Prismic on the other screen. If I'm not already logged in, I am already logged in. Did I load? Nope, don't close. Oh, I just closed it. Uh, of course he closed it. <laughs> Prismic. Cool. Uh, what was the other one I had open? Uh, Slice Masters, why not? Cool. Um, so then in here, it already knows. So the reason it, you would normally select like the one you want to create, if it was a repeatable type, you'd get a list. But in this case, because it's, um, I've got, I only have three single types at them and I don't have any repeatable types. So I have a, a home single type, a change log single type and a blog single type. I already have uh, a home and a change log. So I physically can't have another one of them. So it has to be, um, the blog one, so that's why it's jumped through. So UID's blog, we'll add our page hero in. Um, page title blog, hero button. See now this is I think the this is I think the thing I got before. So like I think this is the reason I did it the other way, thinking about it, is because I've got the link, but if I want to change the label of the link, I don't think I can. Like I have to just go with the, the the link of what it is. Um, I mean, I probably could do some some way of doing it, but I think because link to the web, yeah, it's the only option I have got, and I can't like relabel it. So if I put in, I don't know, argument say Google dot com, yeah. So like, there's no way of me relabeling that. So I think I'll change that. Well, I don't know. Where I'm going. I'm going to go in here. So if I go slices, um. I don't know why that's that. That should have been published. <laughs> Do well. Page here. This is the one. See, that's why. So we'll get rid of that. Um, what do I want? Rich text, I guess. Key text, that'll do. Um, so we'll do link label. Add a new one. Key text. Link uh, URL. Not label URL. Duh. Link URL. Rename them. Just uh, link label. So that'll be the label of what we want, and this will be the link URL. Save mode all the fire system and push it. Push it real good. I'm generally surprised that I have four people viewing this stream right now. <laughs> oh damn, I thought I'd get maybe one. If that. I'd say it'd be my mum watching up, but unfortunately I don't think she knows what Twitch is. <laughs> Um, there we go. So that's now pulled through. Uh, let's get some lurium ipsum, lurium ipsum, something like that. Uh, one paragraph that'll do me. Copy that, dump that in there just for something to hold on to for the minute. Link label, right? Let's say contact us, and then that will be linked to like that. Contact, save. See, now what I'm also kind of thinking is maybe adding in another field, which is like a tag. Um, so like um, you could tag the button and say whether I want this to be a primary tag, a, a primary button, a secondary button, you know, control the styles and the classes via um, the tag you pass in. The whole idea, obviously, of this headless CMS being that me being a developer, I could obviously just go in and change it. But, you know, if building websites for clients and that necessarily, I don't want them calling me up every five minutes because they want to change what button is the primary button. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, don't know. We'll think about it, maybe. So we'll hit publish on that for now. Publish it now. 
get rid of that. Um, so hopefully now, when I run npm run start on this, da, 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 da. well, could not find a production build. Loaded from env.local, could not find a production build. What are you going on about? Oh, it's npm run dev, isn't it? Mm, not, yeah, duh. Uh, local host three thousand. Uh, temporarily. Why has that gone to that? I said local host three thousand. Uh, why aren't you working? There we go, localhost 3000. So if I go to localhost 3000 slash blog, blog, there we go. So um, let me get rid of that for the minute so we can have a look at the code. So this is now coming in. So now if I do uh, rich text render dot description, we should now get, boom, that drop in, sick. Um, I need to have a look at what content's actually this. What is that? That's a heading one. Mm, yeah, heading one would be accurate, I guess. Um, so you can see that I said that's being constrained. So then we just want to sort out the, the link. So what I'll do is have a look at my CTA friend here. Um, see at the minute, like I said we've only got the one, but I've made it so we can have more than one if we want to. Um, so what I'd actually probably be better doing is looking, I can't remember where I map it. Ah, here's a good thing I can show off then. So you can go in here and you can do show code widgets. So I want, I'll just copy that for argument's sake, get rid of that. Come into here, uh, keep it in the section. So I want to map it. Uh, I can never remember what I need to do, there we go, cool. So then I want a Next.js link, href, item, dot, um, what would it be, item dot link label? No, link URL or something like that. Um, uh, again, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Get rid of that. And then I want that, that, close it. In there, item dot link label. I've just butchered that and I what have I done wrong? No, it's right. I am dot link label. I am dot. Oh, because it'll want um, a key or not. Uh, let's just do I am dot link label. And then obviously import link. No, I don't want the one from Prismic React JS. I want import link from next slash link. Let's see what that looks like on the, the website. Oh, nothing. Why is nothing? <laughs> do well, do well, do well, do well. Oh, there we go, contact us. And obviously that's not gonna work. Um, oh, that's interesting. I didn't think it would do that. Oh, I thought it would do something else. Um, so, custom types. Let's add in that form now just to see how it works. Blog, slicer, and edit slices. I want contact form. I also want the footer. I also want the sub footer. I also want the header actually. That would be a helpful one to have. All right, save. Push. Waiting, 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 waiting. Uh I'm determined to get something published and working today before I end the stream. That's my, that is my goal. And I just, oh, that is the foot there. I just realized I was like, where's my foot? Oh, it is there. Um, right, let's reload that. Blog. Uh, blog. Uh, header. I need the logo. Uh, that one. And then we'll say five type logo or icon I suppose is better 
icon icon logo we'll go with icon logo um so this is if i wanted to add in navigation i haven't actually added navigation because up until now i've just had the one landing page so i haven't needed navigation um but it's something we'll consider putting in now uh contact form and then we want footer and then we want sub footer this is the one thing like that's made me like fall in love with prismic is how quick it is just to um to like do this so like we'll just call this like fire type logo or long logo maybe um so then this is for this so the annoying thing is like i'd have to save it and go out and back in um newsletter sign up title yeah, that's not actually that is it? it's that let's keep uh, that one and then that's the subtitle and the label is sign up like that and then navigation link label we have home services change log and contact so home is just navigation is slash services is it? yeah so that would then be currently we've got slash that because i don't have a services page at the content at present change log is that one word or no, it's one more yeah, like that. And that would be slash change log. And then finally contact. And this is where I want to try it. Like it should be able to just do that, I think. And then what do I want? I don't actually have um I, I do and don't have Facebook. Um so I don't know why that why I put that in there. So then link to the web, mail to hey at firetype.com, uh Twitter. Go give it a follow if you haven't already. Which I know you haven't because I'm the only follower of it. But you can follow my main account as well. <laughs> um, link to this page. Cool. So that's that done. Um, that's that done. Contact form. Is this one? Blah, blah, blah. Paste that in there. Sub. What was that? Submit button label. Let's get started. Uh, let's get started is that an exclamation point i imagine it is yeah uh description would be this bit under here white tie message is that one and then email link is this bottom one paste that in cool so now the cool thing about this is we've just gone through and filled all of that in in what three minutes three four minutes and um now just hit publish Fingers crossed, if I've been a half decent developer for once. Um, when I now go to blog, hopefully, yeah, look at that. We've got a logo at the top, we've got the form there already, but all the functionality will be there as well, which is the cool thing. So you could like fill this in and it'll drop in. Same with this, you fill this in and it will um, populate my the, the newsletter. Um, so that's, that's pretty sick, um, sick. Um, so yeah, all of that works. Uh, interestingly, um, yeah, that's, that's the one reason I love, um, the speed of this is like, it's just literally drag and drop. Sorry, I was answering the video, but that is fast, but it's very fast. Um, that's why I like it. Um, ah, so that's something I need to fix. So that needs to be, uh, what we got here. So now I'm curious, obviously if you press home, it'll work. Services, what does that do? See, so services works, it pings you to there. Um, if I go back to the blog, change log obviously works because it takes you to the change log page. And then contact. Did that. Am I losing the plot? Did that work? Oh, sweet. I weren't expecting that to work, but it did work. Let me just take a drink quickly because I'm dying of thirst here. Cool. So that's um, that set up <laughs> that's that page largely largely set up already which is pretty cool um obviously i need to put that i need to start let's start that link quickly shall we um so we've got this here so we need some style components on this um where do i do this where do i do this home banner that's where i did this so i wrapped it in yeah so i wrapped it here and did basically an index on it the bit that's referring to is this here so if i switch them around in prismic this will become the solid orange one and this will become the 
kind of outline boardedy one. Um, there's probably a better way of doing it, if I'm fully honest with you. Like I said, probably tagging it through a key field within um, Prismic. So that way the user can change it. It's not just dependent on the index that they're added. Um, but speed, you know, follow my little circle there on the screen, you know, design, develop, deploy. We, we, we go quick. Um, hey, Francesco. Um, so, so let's quickly style that. I might be able to, like I said, I really need to... Um, so what I'm actually going to do is just, I'm just going to be a bit lazy about this really and just copy that. <laughs> um, link container. Uh, oh, have I actually, oh, I've actually surprised myself here and I've, have I defined that on the page level already? I think I must have. Jow, I'm, have I, where have I done that? I think I've surprised myself already and I'm, I'm, I'm better than I am. Oh yeah, look at that. I've already defined it on the page level. Check me out. I'm one step ahead of myself. <laughs> I was about to break myself for not not doing that. Um, it's caught me off guard now. <laughs> um, cool. But I didn't I didn't put the link container on there, but I don't actually need that, so that's fine. Um, so if I go in here, then I wonder if does this need to be on the? Yeah, it probably needs to be on the div. So let's take that div quickly, dump it into the slices, uh, wrap it in a new div like so. Take that key, get rid of that key. Um, there's only one index, so it's going to be a primary link regardless. Um, so if we go into here, into here, uh, not into there, into slash blog. There you go, boom, contact already. Uh, let there be light. I just had to turn the lights on, sorry. <laughs> um, so that's that bit set up. Right, what else do we need to do? Uh, let's get rid of that for a minute just so we can do some quick styling on this. So the, type, the font size of this, let's say seven and a half. Rem, I don't know how anyone applied. That would be helpful if I actually applied the class name to what I'm doing. Um, class name of title. Title. Mm, that didn't work. I imagine that's because it's rendering it out, maybe, I want to say. Yeah, it must have stripped off. Okay, right, easy fix for that. So what you can do is change that to as, te not render as text, just as text. That then should, he was hoping, but it didn't. So if I search as text, cause I know I've done it. Ah, uh, you do it like that and you have to wrap it within what type of tag you want, which is fine. So we'll change that out to, rather as text, and we'll change that out to a H1. Then we can whack our class name on there. Like so. Uh, it won't be item, be slice. Slice dot primary at that. No, it won't be step title, it should be title. Boom, there we go, massive title. <laughs> Um, so let's get rid of some of the margin on that and maybe the padding as well. To be fair, I don't really need it that big. Maybe let's maybe take a step back on the size of that. No, yeah, we'll drag on 5px. Where's that extra padding coming from? Uh, so that's okay. That's okay. Oh, so it's that pushing up. Okay, cool. And then the whole thing's got some some wonder, wonderful padding going on. Oh, because the section container, yeah. That's the section container doing that. So that section there is the one which has got the padding surrounding it there. So yeah, get rid of that. Maybe keep the padding on the sides, but lose the padding on the top, maybe? I don't know. Mm, yeah, we'll think about it. We'll take the padding off the top for now. Like that, cool. Um, five RAM, we'll go with that. Um, probably should have, I don't know, because this is the actual hero section, so it don't matter. So, um, just thinking what to do with this. Do I just target the P element, because it will be a P element, but then 
if I want to put links in there or whatever, um, do I then target the link? Like, do it, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking I'll put a container on it, but then I need to render it as text. So I reckon I'll just put a container around the whole thing. Like so. And then class name equals uh, description, something like that. I don't actually know what I want to start with it, so I don't know why I put description around it, is the true honest to that. Um, why did I put a description around that? Tag around that. I suppose I don't really want it being that big. Like, I'd probably limit that down in width a bit. So, do description max width. Let's go argument sake 800 pixels. Yeah, it looks a bit better. We won't have that much text in there to begin with anyway. That contact us should then, yep, drop. Oh, why did you do that? What's that link into? Oh, we'll go back. What's that link into? It's a slash, yeah, slash. Okay, fair enough. So to change that, we'll just do that. Cool. And to be fair, I just realized we need to add in down the bottom. Um, so I want to move that above the change log and above services. We'll put in here blog slash blog. Save that. Let's cut out some of the text from up here because we don't really need that much. And then publish up. Wait for that to all reload. So that seems to have worked. Yeah, so that works fine. And then, uh, and yep, that works for me. Oh, what I was worried about happening, truth be told, is because down here, we skip, it goes like here. So it goes like social media name, email, blank, and then there's what, the Twitter one. So what I was worried, I'd, uh, to be fair, it makes, I guess it makes sense anyway, because when you map through the array, it would be blank. Um, so that's, that's, yeah, works. I wonder if I've actually checked for that ahead of time. Uh, yeah, I have. If it's null, just return null. Yeah. Look at this. Smart. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really not. But, you know, <laughs> uh, we'll set it up a bit ahead of time. Um, so then I won't... Uh, what is going on here? An image has been removed. When did I remove an image? I didn't remove an image. Okay, we'll just discard it anyway. So I'll jump into home and do the same down here. I need to add in. Oh, do you know what I've just realized? I don't think I've turned off my webhook. So I think I've just been rebuilding. Oh, it is off already. That's okay. <laughs> I was going to get worried that I've just been rebuilding the live site about seven times and like Vercel's going to hate me. Um... So yeah, let's add in the home. So I want it in between. I wish there was like a little, just, you know, you could just add a button in the middle. Uh, oh yeah, drag up, sorry. Uh, there. So blog slash blog. Save, publish, publish. That's uh, the last one on the change log. Uh, blog, blog. Nope, 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 not like that. Not like that. Slash blog, like that. And then publish that out. So then on here, we should have five working links. So we're on the blog page at the minute. If I go to the home page, scroll to the bottom, we have blog. Go to the blog page, we have that. Go to the change log page. Go to the bottom, we have blog. Woohoo! It all works. Happy days. Scroll to the bottom and services. Yeah, I just want to make sure that works. Cool. Right. Um, so, 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 so. Next steps, um, really, because we've got this header set up and everything. Next thing to set up is um, what bit would we be looking at? We need to do these bits, this fun bit here, um, which will be a repeatable slice this time. Um, so we need to do a repeatable slice and then we'll worry about the design and... Um, 
stuff. I'm kind of I'm not sure how we how we map over the kind of blog post pages. Like so there might be a bit of documentation reading going on there. Um should we have a quick let's have a quick gander at the documentation now. Prismic slice machines. Uh that'll do get started with slice machines in next JS. Uh yeah, let's do that. I want to know. Um, if you're like making a blog. I wonder if their boilerplate project has it. See what home about more info. Because like what I'm thinking is like if we look at my existing website for an example. If I get a blog. I have like these blog cards. And then also you can click on them and it takes you through to the actual page. Which is all well and good. But I'm just trying to think, how do we recreate that in here? So, like, what do I need to make in here? Do I need to then make a... Do I have to have, like, two slice... Um, kind of two slice machines, two slice cards. One being... Um, one being for the actual blog page and the blog post. And then another one being, like, the blog card. That's kind of what I'm going towards. So, um, so we have, like, one card... Um, one card for this being one card and then um, which we end up mapping down the page like that and then we have another card or another slice machine slice for all of this so we have a slice for the blog post which gets re that's actually no that would be a custom type thinking about it that would be a custom type so we'd have a blog post custom type which would be repeatable um and then we could use slices within that and we'd have to create slices for, let me just turn that because I think that's actually peaking quite high. Is that peaking? I think that's better. Um, yeah, that's better. Um, I don't want to be blowing people's eardrums out. So we'd have to have, yeah, a slice machine, a slice, I don't know why I keep it called a slice machine. So we'd have to have a slice um, for the text in the image. For example, if you wanted to have a text in an image like next to each other, you have image, text, that'd be like a slice and then, you have an image just on its own that'd be like a slice and then um actually i don't know if you would have that as a slice or would you just have that as just a, a normal like i think you just have that as a repeatable element just image and then you'd have another one for rich text so yeah custom type for i don't know why let's write this down that's just because i'll forget otherwise All right so let's get a blank space bit blank bit guard oh get my little tablet out again God sent this tablet is honestly. I didn't rec I didn't think I'd use it, but hey ho, it's been a bit of a lifesaver. Um so like the blog um blog page, so we'll call it uh blog pay we'll keep hitting the button on it. Blog page, that will be so that's the actual page which we've done. So that's a single uh custom type which I'll just put as a CT. And then you have blog posts. They will be a repeatable um, CT. So there are two CTs. And then from there, you know, we need the card which goes on the home page. So I'll call that blog card. I don't know why I put blog in front of all of these. We know it's in reference to the blog. So that wouldn't be a repeatable CT because it's not its own page. CTs generally are their own pages. Um, so this would then just be a slice, which in turn would have like title, date, um, description in. That's what I'm thinking. So this one we've already done. So that's a tick. Happy days. Can I change the color? Let's, have, let's get a green tick on the go. Uh, green tick. So tick that's done so these are our two remaining um kind of tasks so to say one and two um and the only other thing now thinking about this kind of just out loud is we need to obviously come up with the slug so i don't know i'm assuming i'm hoping i'm praying um <laughs> that prismic has a way for handling slugs um because i really don't like handling slugs um that's the god honest truth of it um Did I have something? They gotta have something for it. Maybe if we look at their normal, um, 
like documentation for it. So if I search like Prismic blog how to, maybe, I don't know, bit of a stretch. How to create a content model for a blog post, no. No, because I want to on the, uh, would it be FAQ? No, it'd be docs and concepts or not. Uh, content modeling, maybe? I don't know. Uh, oh, that's helpful. Uh, next. So if we say without slice machines, maybe there's one without slice machines which shows us how to do it. Um, search engine optimization, no, nav buzzwords, template links and content relations. Um, okay, so you can make your own slugs, basically. So you need a link resolver and a resu Oh, this is going to be fun. I am not 100% sure, if I'm honest with you. But that's the fun of this stuff. You can see me struggle for it to a certain degree. I mean, I'm not going to be going for five hours before I really just give up. <laughs> um, I think this is probably going to be Prismix link field allows you to link content relationship field. That might be helpful. Link to an external link. Um, free kind of link. So content relationship is that. I feel like I'm kind of hacking through it, if I'm honest. I generally feel like this is a bit of a hack. Um, maybe building a blog in Prismic is better. Building a blog in Prismic. What are we doing? Oh, we're approaching an hour. Check that out. First hour long stream. There you go. Complete a... Uh, there we go. Create a new repeatable custom type. Copy the JSON below and paste it in the JSON. So we don't need to worry about that. Slice machine handles all of that for us. I don't really want to play that. Like the sound out. Um, how to create a comment on my blog homepage. Here we go. So static fields. I do like their documentation. I love do their documentation is really good. Um, yeah. So this is what we're interested in doing. Section heading the featured posts. Yeah. So that sort of things to think I'm interested in. And of course they put a video there. Uh, copy the secret text, structure text, structure text. So I'm thinking it's just going to be the only thing I'm not 100% sure on is how we handle the slugs. But then I presume because it's Next.js, we just use um, like that UIDs and whatnot. I'm presuming. I know this UID is obviously also used to feed in like the pages that we create, but like, like if I create a reusable blog post type and then feed in um, just an example blog post, how does that play is what I'm worried about, like what, what happens. So there's only one way to find out in there. We know roughly what we're after though. I uh, don't want the change log. So um, oh, I need to go into here first, custom types. So create a new repeatable type. Uh, this will be blog post, blog hyphen post. Is it better to do blog post? Or is it better to do blog hyphen post? I'm uh, supposed to place all they give is hyphenated, so we'll go with hyphenated. So this is the custom type for it. So I'm now just thinking, let's just throw a tight line. That's the easy way of doing this, isn't it? Um, so we'll have title. Oh, I don't want to do that. Title. Uncircle H1. Um, Cool, and then we'll add a wonderful description. Got our description, which we'll get rid of all of that. We want that, that, that. Yeah, that'll do. Save. So now I'm wondering 
how do you actually create the slug is what I'm, is what I'm most concerned about here. So let's just push that to Prismic. Let's just let's just push it. We'll just we'll figure it out on the fly. So then in here we can go create new. Uh uh I didn't want to do that. I was in the wrong one, clearly. Create new. So it already knows that we want a blog post because it's the only possible option that we can give it. So then we'll just call this very creatively example. Uh example blog post one. Or example blog post, and then we'll just mash some keys. Uh, example blog post. Save, publish. I just want to know how this is going to kind of play out. Like, how does it create? What does it do? So, bit of a. So, like, what do I need to do now for it to actually display out on the page? So obviously nothing naturally nothing's gonna be here. Like it doesn't know about it. So does it create how does it create the slugs? Prismic slice machine blog example, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh stumble project, boilerplate, build, add content, run your project. That's not helpful. The thing is, like this, isn't any help. I don't think. No, so that's just slices, and these aren't like. Oh, maybe this is what I'm after then. Like this bottom bit here, unless that's just slices. That might just be slices, though. Um, create and model content. which is basically what we've gone through doing already. Add the label, modify the API ID, done all of that, mock data, don't really worry about slice variations. Um, technical reference maybe, I don't know. I'm really, I'm clutching at straws here. Slice machine multi-page website. That is exactly what I'm working on right now. I don't know. Uno memento. I just have to quickly send one text. There you go. Me being ultra uh, prepared and, uh, um, you know, you know. Um, all right, so let's have a look. Pages. So this is just. Ah, what am I even looking? I'm looking at next. I don't want next. Not next. Not next. Next. Oh, because I'm doing next JS with a slice machine. I don't want next JS with a slice machine. Here we go, next JS of a slice machine. So it's the same stuff here. Slice and pro, yeah. Do we just create one of these? But then we pass in like type blog post query type repeatable. But then how does it know? But I suppose, let's just try it, let's try it. Um, so would it be like, I don't, I really don't know. Uh, blog post, I don't, I really don't know what I'm doing here, dot js. So then something like that maybe, and then, but then I, that won't work, will it? Hmm. 
They don't really cover this one, do they? Create a model of component. Code and style components, not interested in that, not interested in that. Use a guide, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. Mm, making a blog with, it's been such a time since I've done this, Prismic JS. It's not even Prismic JS, is it? it's just Prismic. Um, how to create a blog with Prismic.io. That sounds um, rather on point for what I'm doing. Yeah, I've done that, done that. See, the issue is that's now going to show me the old stuff. Query some documents, make use of cache. Next.js blog with Prismic. Keep doing that, because everything ends in JS normally. There we go, server-side rendered blog with Next.js and Prismic. Um, Prismic blog, all of that. So that's in the app. Oh, okay, okay. So you query in all the stuff on the page that you want to, and then map over it, array over it, the, the whatever. But yeah, you bring it in in the props, don't you, and source today, yeah. And then you create a UID for it. So I have to, what would it be in here? Add new field UID. So this will be like, um, we'll call it UID, but it's going to be like the slug. I'm actually just going to label that slug because that's what it's going to be. Cool. And then we'll go out and back in. Slug, that probably needs to go to the top. And then we'll just call this like example blog post. Publish. So now, like, if I go to the blog page, so in this get static props here, can we bring in in the root project create a directory API with that current? And this is where we will add our functions to create the API. I feel like this blog post is probably a bit outdated for what I'm doing because it's not using slice machines or anything. And it's using like classes and stuff, which is not much help for someone not using classes. But yeah, so it's the idea that was in a context.query blog post. So it's just created a blog post.js. Mm. Ah, this would have been helpful. We just reverse engineer from here a bit. So um not really interested in any of that index. Prismic proceeds under article. So can you when they say article type, do they mean like tags? Oh no 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 of course yeah, the types like blog posts and stuff. So this is just pages index.js, obviously that's just them rendering it out on the page. So, but like in here, that's static props. Can I have more than one in there, maybe? I don't know. API params, params, you are the ID. Because you can't have more than one get static prop. You can only have one of them per page, I believe. So then how do you... I suppose, yeah, you could add it, but then that makes no sense doing it like that. So that's what I was thinking it would do with the little fun funky arrows. Hmm. 
don't need the preview articles. That's what I'm interested in, like in here. So a pages article that, and then a lot of get static props, <laughs> params, preview, preview data, URL params. Is it because he's created the same type name? So do I have to make like a folder called blog post and then? URL params preview data, tags, data, article, client, but you get UID. Sorry, I realize I'm just reading out what's on screen now. Um, what could it be? So I think I get the idea of making it per page, but I just want to know what to do to set it up so we can get it onto the homepage. If I can get it onto the homepage today, then I'm, I'm happy. But it's just um, uh, next JS Prismic Slice Machine blog. See if someone's come up with something. You can see how many of these I've been through. Um, I can only help but think it'll be similar to. Like here, so this is obviously the home page, pages index.js, am I doing that? Const articles, maybe I can do something like that. Should we give it a shot? Let's give it a shot. Oh, but this is returning an object directly anyway, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so let me drag that off to the other screen quickly. Because that's using a function. Yeah, use get static props, which the other one's not using. Oh, <laughs> I really need to look into Next.js more for this properly. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what is it then? Uh, Prismic query blog posts. Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Maybe it just needs to be like as simple as um, you create a new one of them repeatable type for each of the pages. That then creates all of the pages. And then we just add a kind of slice to the blog page to link it to that slug. Bit more manual than what I would like if I'm honest. But I'm kind of out of ideas of it. <laughs> I am out of ideas officially. On it. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, um, Prismic. So, like, in here, what do they say to do? Query of next slice items. Yeah, see, they use this in next slice to like, like this to which terms to review pages and which use get static props. So which we've used. Have we used both of them? This might be helpful. Slice zone, you get static props. So, but you can only do one static props. Can I pass in maybe more than one type? I don't know. A white document dog. So how does this work? API params. This function gives you access to the params root data static. Defaults to repeat example single custom type to query. So I like how in their custom type they put underscores, but in their in their previews they put, um, oh, here you go, UID domain, dynamic file name. So I'm assuming, like I can just take that for this anyway. 
Oh, um, let's just kind of butcher some stuff. Put that in there. Um, I want that. Oh, it's already been brought in there. It cannot be cool to the top. Oh, because we're not inside a component, are we? Oh, why would we need to be in component? Do that. Um, I want that. Go in there. Do I need to import that? Yes, I do. That is true, I can't always refactor here. Uh, what do I need to do? So this query type is repeat, the type is blog post slices key. Uh, slices key? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, slices key. Can be used on every page using the slice zone. It's responsible for. Oh, so I don't know if I want this then, do I? You can be used on every page using the slice zone. But use, it can be used to dynamic pages to define the static password. It returns a function password. So this is then what I want then for creating the pages. All right, let's take that and dump that into. Uh, not in there, in here. Why is that complaining? Cannot be called at the top level. You are getting called at the top level, though. That's your problem. You get called at the top level everywhere else. Oh, that's probably because the SES link kicking off. So get rid of that. Sort that out. Boom, boom, boom. Import that in. Like that. Right, type page. Um, so that one needs to be like blog post. Don't want to say because that's the custom type. I feel like my voice has started to go. <laughs> this is good. Um, one slice. So let's just get this back on the screen. So this is the other one use static pass can be used to dynamic pages to define the static paths to be generated it returns a function to be passed an xjs static path function or fetch from prisoner down properties so once slices have been fetched they must be matched with nextjs components and rendered the slice zone accepts data from the api directly as a prop if it also accepts a resolve which derives here's an example of a slice zone component that is receiving slices Okay, so then they've just defined the pages. They don't actually, oh yeah, they do export default page. Let's just take this as an example. Let's see if we can get it to work. No, uh, drop that down there. Oh, wait, did I? No, they don't, okay, fair enough. So if I do export default uh, page, save. And then slice zone, where do they import that from? They import that from the next slice zone. Okay. And then, import our resolver. I think I have a resolver. Do I have an SM resolver? Yeah, I do. Um, I don't know if that will work. Oh, I don't actually have any um, um, slices, do I? I don't actually have any slices on the page. So now does this mean that I have a blog post at the URL example blog post, maybe, possibly. What should we get, 404? Yeah, 404. Um, let's just take a step back because, what do I do on like these pages? I just do slice and then do like slice.primary.title. So let's try. That. Take a slice back. Take a step back, and we'll just try that. I suppose it's called slices, which I'm probably no help. Um, but that's not going to stop the issue of the page not existing, is it? Uh, four or four, yeah. Maybe it needs a restart. When in doubt, give it a restart. Yeah. 
just trying to figure this out why it's not working. Query by single type, query by repeatable type. I just realized that I don't actually know that is right. In this example, we dynamically created the repeatable pages of type posts using UID for each document in a UID.js file. Oh, okay, maybe that's my issue then. So I need to create like a new folder, which is called like blog posts. Move this into there. Rename it to UID. Just I'm clutching the straws here, frankly. Um, we'll take in what they've done there with like slices and whatnot. And then I'm pretty sure Oh, that's not even loading. Why is that not loading? Uh pass. You cannot use different slug names with a slug dynamic path. Blog post does not equal UID. Oh, okay, so that must have been complaining about that but I renamed it, so it's okay. Or is that saying in here that I'm doing that? No, I'm not. No, 404. Format UID, fallback. Uh, I don't really care about any of that. Why is that not working? Uh, I don't care for that in here. I don't really care for that either. So this should be able to help me here. Query, query dynamically by language, not address spin that by repeatable type. In this example, we dynamically queried a repeatable pages of type post. Oh, so you can do more than that. So I'm going to copy that and do type blog post. Oh, no, you can't. You only got one of them. Yeah, yeah, I just saw props and paths, yeah. So you do need more than one. My thing is, how does this know when you think about it? How does this know to pass it so it's like page? Oh, maybe. No. Nope, that, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, we've got that type post, which I've already plugged in, blog post. Uh, let's just try this example out then. I don't think I tried this code. Yeah, I know I've hit that point where you uh, start copying and pasting everything. <laughs> uh, blog post. And then what was that? We need to switch that with client. Because that's then got my configuration in it. Like that. Uh, we don't really care for the rest of that. Maybe. I don't know. This is this is clutching. Oh, no, 404 again. Um, why that didn't work, I do not know. Using the UID of each document in a UID.js file. I'm pretty sure I can't do more than one of these though. Unless I can do like multiple objects. So if I do blog post. Something like that. And that's how we're we're clutching really. Nope, four or four again. Hmm. 
really stuck. I don't know what else would be causing it. Because this should, this to me says exactly what it should do. It should just, it should just work. So we put dynamic name. So what are we actually talking in here? We've got introduction, dependencies, installation, project files, configuration. Create a pages. Yeah, we've done that. Create resolve. I'm pretty sure all that's done. Example, yeah. Data fetching. So what's this here then? I don't know what this is. Data fetching, that's all it says it is. Query examples, different uses, slice it in a life cycle, so query by single type, which is what we do every page. And then we do this, we dynamically create the repeatable type of the post, of type post using the UID of each document. Let me just make sure I'm not going insane. Custom type blog post is blog hyphen post. The type is repeatable. Do you think it's because we're missing the type definition on it or something? No, type is page, type blog post, yeah. Prismic document, Prismic do that is exactly as they have it. Possibly, maybe, because we don't have a slice in it. That's the only thing I can possibly think. I just loaded up Spotify. I don't want Spotify open. Do we go in here? Can I add? Oh, no. Okay. Let's just randomly give it a slice. Um, contact form. Oh, that's, I'll tell you what we do want on there. We'll want header on there. We'll want footer on there. We'll want our subfooter on there. And we'll want... Is there anything? Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Probably have to give it another, what are we at? One hour, 27. So we give it another 10, 15 minutes. I'm still nowhere. I might have to call it and pick up another day. But I hope the stream's gone well. Um, and it's not been too boring. <laughs> now, that's the first stream I've done. So make sure you uh, follow along for more. Because I will be doing more of them. It has been good fun. Um, might just do it on Twitch though, because Twitch has definitely been a lot more active than the YouTube stream as I'm looking at the YouTube stream now, and it's, uh, yeah, a bit bleak <laughs> to say the least. Twitch has definitely been the better one. Go figure. Um, so example blog post. So then let's just add in like header, uh, logo, fire type, icon. Logo. I'm not going to add in all of them just for speed. Subfer, we'll add in the subfer. Uh, just because there are any logos. So I'd hope. Long logo. So now it does actually have types in it. So now it has types in it. To me, that means it should be getting passed through like the slight zone resolver that they have because there is types to resolve or slices to resolve but we still get a 404 how do i view um the api that might be helpful there is a way you can do it api and security oh i think that might be in there i just wanted to make sure i weren't going to end up showing my buddy api key off to everyone I'm going to do this on a separate page just in case the API key does come up. Okay, yeah, lucky enough it didn't um, actually show the API key off the one. Okay, so interestingly, if we look here, um, this is example blog post. We've got a blog post type that gives us the slot, like, you know, what the slide will be, the logo. This is the blog page. 
So we've got the type in there. The type is in there. Like, why is it not working? Uh, um, um, so the type is there, like. Uh, so you get the results. Example blog post type is blog hyphen post. which is what we put in as the type. I can't help but think because there's two like UID pages, that's what's kicking it out. But I don't think that is it at the same time. Oh, just fun the microphone again. What would it be? What would it be? Appreciated method um, before V101. What am I on? Am I on v I'm surely on higher than V101. Oh, well, yeah, I am V102. Yeah, so. Oh, oh, one, oh, blah, 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 oh, one, two. So I'm using this method here. Fetch all docs of type page. Means you can't have more than one. We've covered that. And I don't think you can do like multiple. Um, very surprised. I don't think it does let you do multiple of them because we tried it. Like that. But then why would it, why would like, why would you want to do it like that? That makes no sense. Give it another refresh, but probably going to 404. Yep, 404. Does our console say anything? No, just moaning about the UID being depreciated. What is that actually saying? Parameter UID is appreciated. Use the UI API params dot UID. I'll change it and see if it fixes it. I think that's what they're on about. But then that doesn't work, does it? Because you're de I don't know. Unless they want that changed to API params like that. Maybe, is that what they're talking about? No, see, yeah, uh, I just, uh, I don't. This has generally been the hardest part of the whole thing. <laughs> the rest of making a site with this has been so easy, but there's no, as far as I can tell, there's no example which um, shows how to make um, a kind of a blog or anything similar with um, slice machines. As far as I can tell, there isn't one. So I'm not sure. I'm generally not sure. Because it's followed the... We've followed the... It's there. It's published. We've got the UID. We've got the type. We've got the slug, because that comes from the type. We've got slices in it. We've got data in it. Maybe you have... Maybe you do have to make a... But then that wouldn't work. Out of curiosity, what if we like this a UID one here? If we do that, I mean that's gonna break. Okay, um, I don't know what happened there. It did actually work? And then do example blog post four or four. Oh, the default export is not a React component in page slash UID. I don't want to replace it, that's the problem. All right, copy, new, paste, there we go. 
copy, paste, refresh. You could not resolve. Oh, of course you can't because you're one page higher now. Yeah. 404. Still don't work. I really don't know. In this example, we dynamically query the repeatable pages of type post using the UID of each document. Clearly not, because it doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, format path, yeah, params, yeah, Rhythmic ID, yeah. See, but then like here, it says like here, pages, lang, UID, so it does, you can, you should be able to do multiple of them then. Like in a new fold, post folder, I don't, I don't know, but that is the type, we know that's the type, because we've covered that in the API. It's here, blog post, so we know that it's the type. We know that it's published because it's in the API. We know we can return the UID of it, params, prismic document, and then that goes up to here. But for some reason, it doesn't work. Maybe their GitHub shows something. Uh, prismic. Uh, users maybe. I don't. I don't know what their GitHub is. Prismic IO GitHub. Here we go. Slice machine. Let's see if someone's raised an issue or anything for it. Uh, blog. Preview not working. No, I don't know if that's gonna be any help. Well, there's post UID, but in Next.js, when you build a link, you need the link URL. The next link's prop should be passed inside components directly. This is um, not helpful. I just can't figure out why it's not working. Repeatable. Custom type that defines slices that are saved to not, not exporting. Slice machine used through the wrong custom type. The query type single not working. Slice variation, no. Okay, maybe that's not the answer either. I am officially stumped. Not like I haven't been for the last 20 minutes. Jeez. I have no idea. I really don't. Um, prismic slice machine repeatable type. Hope and they show one here, which is like, do they just show single type here? Create and publish documents, slice own. Dynamic pages, oh, here we go. To get the content for our repeatable dynamic pages, such as the about page, we do query a little differently. We can see how we do this in the UID file in the pages directory. What? But then like, oh, so the UID. Do 
to now see your dynamic page. Okay, so let's just take this as is. Drop, so then drop that in here. What, did, what was it here? Okay, yeah, do that. That, that. They are, in, oh, I was complaining about the um, SES link complainer. Like that, cool. We're just gonna bump that off for the minute. Just try to get this working. So they're saying that by putting that code into the UID file to get the dynamic pages, such as the about page, we do a query a little differently. See how we do this in your Cool. So let's restart this just to be 100% sure that it's actually doing what we wanted to do. If this works, like, I'm going to be so happy. Right, refresh that, make sure it's working. Go in here just to make sure that we have, uh, what one's the one I want? I uh, don't want that one, that one. So I want the UID of this post, which is the example blog post. Cool. So please don't give me a 404. Please don't give me a 404. <laughs> Why give me a 404? <laughs> oh. So looking at this, create a new custom type, done all of that. Let's just go through this. Local custom types. Da -da -da, update default. Yep, cool. Add slices. Yep. Save, push. Yep. Create a new custom type. Single type. We're not interested in the single type. So this is, once you do this, you can create, ah, here you go, so they're doing a repeatable type, and can I mute it? I just want to mute it. So they name it home page. Oh, they change it to a single type, fair enough, okay. Adding the banner to the home page, the home page, Dyn the dynamic page. They get the content for our repeatable dynamic page, such as the about page. We do create all differently. In the UID, let's look at what's happening so we can build our own queries in the future. For the use get static props function, we take the input from the URL route and pass it to the UID attribute for a dynamic page. Oh, for, UID attribute. for a dynamic page, get static props is also required. Get static props is the next chess low cycle figure. Tell me what page the generate. Okay, let's try console log some stuff. I haven't actually tried that yet. I don't know if we, what, I don't know why I can console log. Um, because there's not much the console log. <laughs> um, Cause that's just returning. So that's returning that. Can I log log these out out of curiosity? I don't know if I can. Or even where it would log it. Uh, nope, that didn't work. And did it go on the page? Ooh. Build page next, this still build pages error. Fair enough. Load the environment, compiled successfully. Function anonymous. That makes sense, I guess. Do. Uh, do my console? I don't know. I'm clutching at straws, I really am. Ooh. Here we go, what's all of this? You strict, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, that's no help. Cannot read preview of undefined, okay. That's no help. I am. So you, so you can visit, where well you clearly can't, you idea the page to now see your dynamic page. Something like, in the next article, we'll learn about links and querying the menu. Let's see if there's anything in here then. See, they've got all of this custom type querying your menu. Call a query out code and style. I just can't help but think it clearly doesn't work. <laughs> I 
But if it did, then um, right now I'd be able to view my custom page. I don't know. Um, the only thing is, it just seems to be working. Like the API works, it's there. It's working for single pages, but as soon as you try to create like a repeatable page, it's like, nope, don't want to know. Maybe we have to add in like stuff for I don't I don't know like query type and that and type we'll try whack whack the whack them in and that'll be blog post is a blog post or blog page I'm going insane I'm losing it blog post I presume um blog Post I want to say is the type Yeah blog hyphen post So if we take both of them dump them into both May or may not work I don't know Hey Yes Oh, I actually have no idea what fixed that. You can tell I've lost the plot a bit because I've put the bloody alt tag in the copyright text. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't, I'm like generally speechless at this point. I've like collapsed into my chair. I've generally, oh. I don't, I don't even know what to say. That's painful that was going through that. Thank you. Um, thank you, pal. Oh, what, what error have I got? Class name did not match. So yeah, I'm not worried about that error. Or class name did not match server. The only thing, because like this has gone into here now, and I've put like the query type in the blog post. In this website, I'm not actually going to have any like extra other things but like i could see it in say another website um so like obviously i've got blog which is just the repeatable type of the blog post but like um say say i'm not going to but say i wanted to create an individual page for each service so like if i created another repeatable type which was the service repeatable type how does that work here because i only have one uid so if i get rid of these now we know what is like how does work it and then um go back back see that takes a 404 doesn't work and you can't have more than one like in there do you need it in both out of curiosity i think you do Yeah, you do, so you need it in both. So then that makes me think, should you only have one repeatable type? Like a blog post repeatable type or just like just a generic repeatable type? Because then it would work. Like then it would repeat. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not particularly worried about it right now. But I am I'm I'm curious to how how that would work. Because like as we shoot before, unless you create like so like out of curiosity, if I wanted to do like I think it's like you do it like that into blog and then underneath that you create uh, let me just move this in there. Because I wanna know um Does that I think that should then if I remember right probably be wrong on this. 
Hey, oh, what? A required parameter blog was not provided as a string for. Oh, okay. So then that would need to go in. I don't know. Here, maybe? So would I have to like make that a. Uh, something like that? Like, and do like blog. Something like that. I don't, I don't know. It was not provided as a string in get static parts. Was I even doing that in get static? I was doing get static props. Oops. Undo. Uh, yeah, undo, undo. And then like, so here, would I have to go like blog slash that slash that? I want the one. There we go. So then does that make this work? A required parameter blog was not provided as a string in get static pass for blog UID. Maybe it needs to go in both. Cause I mean, this isn't an unheard of like use case. Like most people who have a blog. Oh, unexpected token expected. Oh, there we go. A required parameter blog was not provided as a string in get static paths. Oh, I don't know. All right, Google. Uh, here we go. This might be the answer. Params ID move what? A required param ID was not provided as a string in get static paths for movies ID. The ID should be a string as suggested by the error. Maybe. Oh, maybe this doesn't need to be like that. Then it just needs to be like blog. I don't. I don't know. I'm clutching his draws again. This is probably going to 404, yeah. So at least that got us a bit closer to it, not like that. So here, id movie show id dot to string. id should be a string as suggested by the error. Upon hitting the API from the browser, you can see that the id is not a string, but a number. You need to convert it to a string. Um, that's no help, I don't think. Oh, wait, I'm just being like a bit of a, a bit of an idiot here. If I wanted to make this into a UID for what I'm trying to do there, like blog, I suppose I could just do like blog slash. I might be completely hideously wrong, but I can't help but think that would work. So if I did that, get rid of that blog fold, I don't care for that. In here, you know, undo that, undo that. Same there, get rid of that. Like that. And then I can't help but think that when I refresh this, oh, 404, this page could not be found. Do you will. Oh, it gets rid of the, okay, okay, never mind. But yeah, um, that is something I do want to do, um, is have like blog prefixing the URL of the slug. Um, that just, yeah, just, just sits better for me. Um, but yeah, that doesn't really answer my question of how it would work with multiple um, types, because like, if you could do how I did it before, where we had uh, the the blog folder and then the UID folder and the UID file in the blog, then you could have obviously the UID folder just for um, that UID file just for the blog post, and then you could have a separate folder which is like I said uh, services maybe, and then a UID file in that with the type of services, and that would hopefully work. But in this instance. I'd have to look into how like to have to get it to work because for some reason I say it's not working. Um but if we could get it to work I'm not hundred yeah. Yeah. That'd be the better way of doing it. I feel like this is on the something this article here, where they're doing like the, the two string of everything. Um 
but I'm not 100% sure really. Maybe there is a, yeah, like a prismic thing for this. Uh, ooh, maybe this is it. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Your file is called a position, just so I'd expect the param to be params.position, not params.slug. Oh, right, right. I'm gonna, this, this, yeah. The last thing I'm probably gonna try is this, and then we'll start wrapping things up, I imagine. So that should be then, if we're, if that article is to be believed, it should be like that. Same. Uh, where am I going? Might be wrong. Worth well, a shot. Oh, the required parameter. Oh, this is the same error as before. And a required parameter blog was not provided as a string in get static paths for blog UID. Maybe there. Uh, how to add a folder name into URL path next.js. So that's what I want to do there. Consider the following page pages, posts. A root like post one would be matched. But then dynamic roots can be fit. Uh, but I don't think that does work because as we tried when we called this just blog like that, it didn't work. No, I mean, it got a little bit closer. The first thing that stands out to me is your param, your fire name is position, so I'd expect the param to be params.parition, not params.slug. If you change this line to that. That makes me think like I said, it should be params blog UID. But that didn't seem to fix it. Um, Unless it needs to go here as well, of course. Uh, where did that go? Why is this? Oh. Something like that. What the hell is going on? Uh, oh, like that. there we go. Oh, unexpected token parameter UID was passed as a sh not provided as a string and get static paths. Maybe this just does need a two string on it. I hope it's not that simple. No, yeah, it's not. A required parameter was not provided as a string. Maybe something like that. I don't know. How did they do it in here? But then obviously that's not going to be the answer. Um, what's the error that I'm getting? A required parameter UID was not provided as a string in get static pass for blog. Error serializing API returns, blog error for reason function cannot please only return. Oh, it's because I'm. No, that's not going to work, is it? I was calling the dot two string on it. But I'm not calling a function anymore. Hmm. Oh, hey, 
So how did we fix this? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I think I get it. So we didn't need to add any of that stuff in here. So that article was talking a load of BS in our situation, um, frankly. So by me rapping, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm probably preaching to the choir, but like um, by wrapping the... Like when you wrap the UAD file in the array brackets, it's um, what's the term? It's creating like a reusable, repeatable field dynamic. That's the one, that dynamic field. Um, so when I was also putting the blog tag in that, so it was trying to do like a double repeatable field thing, which I, I don't even know if you can do that in Next.js. If I'm completely honest with you. Um, so yeah, now it works. Cool. That's that. Still didn't answer it. I still don't know the answer to the question of whether or not it would work with a separate one for services. I suppose it would now, like thinking about it, we could just add a new services field. So I suppose a quick test for that um, uh, would be like if I did something like that. Oh no, not that. I want to copy that and paste one in there. So if we did this, in theory, I could change that out to services and it would still work. And it does. Cool. So it does work. The more you know. Cool. Um, yeah, so that's that. I mean, we've just passed the two hour mark. So not a bad first stream, I would say. Two hours, two hours, two minutes as it currently stands. Um, yeah, so I think I'm probably going to call it there because. I'm going to be honest with you, it's nearly 8 o'clock and I need to go get some food. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so this has been enjoyable. Um, I hope kind of you enjoyed it. I hope you want to see um, another one. I, um, I plan on doing more. I plan on doing at least one a week. Um, I don't know what days because my schedule is a little bit all over the place at the minute. So, But there will be one a week. It's just um, when I can fit it in. But follow me on Twitter because that's where I'll be announcing it. Um that's the best place to keep up to date with pretty much everything I've done. Also join my newsletter because I, I, I do stuff on there quite often now of what it is. Um, of like announcing what I do and stuff. But yeah, cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed this um, stream. It's been good fun. Done a lot. Solved a lot. Didn't manage to actually get some stuff working. Um, managed to build the, um, not a 404 page. That'd be a bit annoying. We built a, we built a blog um, when it loads. We haven't actually got to the next stream um, we'll be covering adding in the actual cards to the page because um, like I said I'm actually not sure how to do that so we'll figure out how to do that on the next stream um, but yes yeah, so we built this um, did we do anything on the home page I can't remember did we do anything on the home page oh no yeah we added in that we made the blog page we added the links to here um, I feel like we styled something oh yeah we styled the blog page um, yeah and then we made our example blog post Cool. So next next stream is going to be adding the cards in here, um, kind of the the styling it and whatnot. And cool. Yeah. Like I said, um, if you're interested in anything I'm doing, follow me on the links on the bottom of the stream there. So YouTube, I'm just Connor Murphy, ConnorMurphy.com. Will be redone soon on another stream where I'm going to make a custom ghost theme. So make sure you follow along for that. Uh, Twitter, Mr. Connor Murphy, because I couldn't have at Connor Murphy because someone got that account suspended. Thanks, whoever that is. Um, but yeah, cool. I'm rambling now, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.